this time. It's time. DJ on What would you rate me, 1 through 10? I would definitely rate you a 10. I don't have to listen to this. Look at this. Um, I never wanted to do this type of video. I've been dodging it for a while. Um, I know you guys... Some of you guys wanted to know how my relationships be in life. Um, my relationships is... My relationships in life are not where it want to be right now. Um, whenever I'm in a relationship, uh, I just feel like, you know, maybe it's going to work or, you know, maybe it's not going to work. You know, sometimes I mess up things, you know, and never work out with that specific person. Um, I've been single for like four months right now. And, um, I mean, I, I feel good. It's just, you know, every time I, you know, think about all my exes, like, you know, what have I done wrong? You know what I'm saying? So, and like, and what have they did wrong and stuff like that. But today it ain't all about that. Um, I didn't want to do this video. Um, that's why a lot of you guys just ask me, like, you know, I know you did a kiss a grab video and you have a girlfriend, right? Um, no, I don't have a girlfriend. Um, I, don't, I don't have a girlfriend. Um, this video is not around my recent ex or two exes, you know, and or exes that was in my it, my videos, bro. It wasn't about them. It's not about them. This video is about why I don't date, you know, white girls. Um, there's a storyline to why I don't date white girls. Um, that's why I mostly be you be seeing me with videos with different, you know, black girls that I so-called call them my girlfriend. And um, I just really, you know, I really haven't, you know, had a feeling for a white girl. Uh, I'm not finna edit this video. Well, I might, I might, I might edit this video, but as a storyline, you know, flows, I'm not finna edit it because some story times that you might think that people watch on YouTube, that you watch on YouTube and they edit it, say you might be faking it. So I'm not finna, you know, edit this video. I'm just telling how it is. Um, <clears throat> last time I dated a white girl was in ninth grade. Um, I'm not finna give no names out. I'm not gonna, I'm not finna give no names out. Um, I dated this white girl when I was a freshman in high school. We dated for like four months. And, um, you know, as the, you know, progress, I think that this was the girl of my life. You know what I'm saying? I was like, I was young. You know how when you, in, um, you in high school and you're just young and you just, you don't, you think so much about that one girl and you think you're going to live with her forever. But that's what I thought. So, you know, we've been dating for four months. And, um, you know, I thought it was going to work out. You know, I'm thinking that we're going to live, you know, graduate together, you know, 
do stuff together and stuff like that but as we like become adults and stuff um, one night she texts me if I wanted to come over for dinner and um and then my mom was cooking and I'm like and I asked I asked her I asked my mom you know can I go over to my girlfriend's house she know she know that we've been dating for four months and you know she's seen like you know how how we talk and you know how how much we hang out with each other how much we love each other so much and excuse me um my mom asked me are you sure you want to go over there because she's cooking my mom is cooking so my mom was cooking some dinner and I, I said yeah i really want to go over there um this is a good time to meet her parents we've been dating for four months you know i should talk and um meet her parents i should meet talk chat with her parents get to know her parents and stuff like that and um you know she said yeah my mom said yeah um she lived far my ex-girlfriend she used to, she used to live far away from where i'm at right now she used to move she well she wouldn't move she would just like live far away she felt like you know like a a 20 minute ride a 20 minute ride so uh you know she drove me over there um once once we approached to her house um i never seen her house before you know she texted me the address and stuff like that and we went over to her house i've never seen her house before her house is you know is in the it's in the middle of nowhere but like basically there's like houses you know right by it's not right right by like neighbors type houses it's just like you know one house right there the other house is over there and the other house is all the way over there that's how the houses was and you know she lived in a you know i wanted to say a rich type of neighborhood but she know you know it was like a big house you know big white house it was just a big white house you know what I'm saying the house was nice I like the house um, the house was big the house was nice and once my mom dropped me over there she asked me if I'm sure if I want to go in there and eat and meet with her parents and I said yeah this is a good you know good opportunity you know what I'm saying we've been dating for four months so she said, yeah. She said, okay. And um, I text my girlfriend saying that I was, you know, outside. And can she, like, you know, come to the, the door, to the um, to the car or something, like, knock on the window the door or something, whatever. She came outside. Um, she shook my mom's hand. And she asked how she was doing and stuff like that. And, um, you know, with all the smiles and stuff like that. Once we said goodbye to my mom, you know, she left and um we was right by you know like together on the sidewalk you know made out for like five minutes when she left and then we went inside um walking inside her house it was very dark she said her <clears throat> damn i came my, my voice she said her lights was off so she had like candles in her house, you know what I'm saying? She had candles around her house, you know, they said that the lights wasn't working. The electricity was working, it's just that on they said something was wrong with the lights. There was there was something wrong with the lights, you know, the lights was off. So they had candles. So she asked me, Can can I can I handle that? Can I you know I was a little kid, I was a I was a small jet, you know what I'm saying? And um, you know, Sometimes I was scared of the dark sometimes when I was a kid, but like, you know, I manned up. I said, you know what I'm saying? I, I ain't scared of the dark, you know what I'm saying? So we went into the house. It's pitch black. Well, it ain't pitch black. It was just black with, you know, like candles and stuff. So I walk into the house, right? First thing I see is her mom. The mom is right there, you know, she shook my hand. Um, I told her my name was Jaden. I've been dating your daughter for like four months. And um, she was like, oh, like, you know, oh, oh, hey, hey, nice to meet you and everything like that, you know. You know, they give you hugs and, you know, a kiss on the cheek, you know what I'm saying? She gave me a kiss on the cheek, hugged me. 
something like that. And then her dad came out the the um, bathroom. So like once you walk in the front door, there's like a a mini like a bathroom right there. It's like to the right when you get into like the front door. So when you get into like the front door, when you when you shut the door and you try to walk in, there's like a like a mini bathroom right there. So he came out the bathroom, you know. Um, I don't know if he washed his hands or what, but you know, if he shook my hand, I don't want, I don't, I don't even want to be mean to him because I wanted to show them that I'm really good and you know, responsible, mature enough for their daughter. So I shook his hand, you know, firmly, you know, handshake and stuff. Uh, shook his hand, you know, told him my name was Jaden. I've been dating your daughter for four months, I almost said two months. Um, you know what I'm saying? Stuff like that. Really want them to think that I'm really mature enough and like really respectful um, to their daughter and to them as well, as well too. So they said the food was done. Um, the food to me, it smelled pretty good. You know, it smelled pretty good. So right when the mom and dad said it was dinner, I was like, why are they yelling? And they were like, cause their son is up there. So it's like a son up there. So this dude was 17 years old. He came down walking. There's like a stairs. It's like stairs when you, it's, it's like a two story house. So they had stairs, you know what I'm saying? So the dude came downstairs, you know what I'm saying? Like, like who is that? She was, she was like, that's my brother. That's my brother. The dude is 17 years old when I met him. I don't know how old he is now. I really don't care. And um, he walked down the stairs. Um, and then he looked at me so crazy. I was like, I was about to say, I was going there for a handshake. Hey man, how you doing? He, this dude just looking at me. He just, he's just looking at me, bro. He's just looking at me. So I went, I just, uh, my hand was like, just like right there for like, you know, one minute. He ain't never shake my hand. Waited in another game for like another 20 minutes. How you doing, man? You doing good? You doing good? Like, he was giving me like the 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 death look, like looking into my eyes, like, you know, like he about to like, you know, do something crazy to me. Let me just tell you, they all white and stuff like that. So I finally shook his hand, you know, dinner was ready, everything. We sat to the table, um, everything, you know. We sat to the table. My girlfriend sat right next to me. You know what I'm saying? The um, brother is over there on the other side. You know how I always be. Mom over there, dad over there. You know what I'm saying? So they finally bring out the food. And the food was horrible. I'm not hating on no white person. But I guess that family didn't know how to cook at all. They really did not know how to cook at all. I, I I swear to God, they didn't know how to cook. Black people, black people like us, we like our chicken fried, we like fried chicken, stuff like that. Maybe even baked chicken, you know, we like seasoning. But they cook some, some unseasoned baked chicken, bro. This chicken was not cooked right. It wasn't, it wasn't really, you know, cooked right. It wasn't, you know, it wasn't like that. So they had baked chicken, the unseasoned baked chicken. They had some corn and that's that they had some mashed potatoes. The only thing was good was the mashed potatoes because I'm a potato lover. I love French fries, mashed potatoes, you know what I'm saying? They put a little bit, I, I don't know if they put, see it, but they put a little bit of seasoning. I asked if I could have some like salt and pepper so you know, we like our seasoning, so I had, I, they gave me some salt and pepper, I put the salt and pepper on the mashed potatoes. The corn was, the corn was nasty. The corn was nasty. The chicken was dry. I didn't even really like the chicken. They ate all the chicken. I barely ate my chicken. The only thing I ate was mashed potatoes and I kept asking for mashed potatoes because that's the only thing I, I would eat on the plate. So you know what I'm saying? Uh, what what else what else happened, bro? I I really can't. My throat dry just talking about the chicken, bro. So 
five minutes into eating of like eating the food and stuff like that, I wanted to go use the bathroom, right? I want to use the bathroom and stuff like that. Five minutes we eat and I want to go use the bathroom. Asked if I could use the bathroom. They said, yeah, the bathroom is over there. Just make a make a go go straight, make a right, make another right, and you left. And I asked why I can't just use the bathroom, you know, when you come in through the front door and right there. They said, use that one. It's more better. I was like, okay. If it's more better, I'll go use the bathroom. I'll go use that bathroom, what they told me to use. I will go to that bathroom, what they told me to use. I'm not going to use the bathroom when you're coming through the front door. You just go turn the right, and that ain't the bathroom. That, that ain't the special bathroom, what they call it. It's a special bathroom when you get into them. Like, when you turn, you go straight, then you turn right, then you make another right, then the bathroom right there. A special bathroom. So I said, okay. I use the special bathroom. Let me tell y'all this. I go up. I get from my seat. How about all them looking at, except for my girlfriend, one, two, three, mama, daddy, and the son, all looking at me. We in the dark, but candles everywhere. They just looking at me. They just staring at me. Staring at me, giving me the look. But that look still haunts me today. It still it still haunts me today. That look, that look that they gave me. It's the same look that the dude gave me when I tried to shake his hand. So I get up, they look at me. I get up. Use my phone, turn on the flashlight. I couldn't really see. The candles wasn't really working. So I use my phone, use my flashlight, you know what I'm saying? And I just, I'm just keep walking. As I was walking, I'm looking around her house, you know what I'm saying? Like once I'm walking to the bathroom, you know, like I'm looking at, you know, I'm, I'm with the flashlight right here, just looking around. She got like pictures of her when she was little and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying, oh, you know what I'm saying? You know, I was a jit, so you know what I'm saying? I'm saying, oh, you know, she look at my baby. Look at my baby. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, look at my baby. And I kept walking and I seen pictures. Um, I, I, I seen pictures. that really wasn't appropriate. I seen a picture of a family. It's the same people that's in the room right now. I mean, not in, 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 the, in the room. In the, I don't know what I say right now. It was the same people in that house that I was in. Tell me how that family that was in the same house as I was in. Tell me that all of them had the Confederate flag on on their, on their shirt, bro. Tell, let me say it again. I saw a picture with the same people that was in that room. In that specific dining room. They on that picture. Maybe it, it, it was two other people. Maybe like, you know, auntie, uncle, whatever, grandma, granddad, whatever. They all had confederate flag, you know, the, you know, the shirts on and stuff like that. My girlfriend, she didn't have that shirt on. She she had a US A, you know, like a shirt. She was the only girl that wore the US A shirt. So I was like, you know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna worry about it. Maybe you know, maybe it's it, you know, it's not true. Maybe maybe it's it's not true. You know what I'm saying? So as I kept walking to the bathroom, I'm looking at pictures of you know all with you know when she was little and stuff, it was still more pictures of when she was little and stuff like that. 
Um, as I make my way to the bathroom door, as I make my way to the bathroom door, open up the door, try to turn on the light. The, still, the light still wasn't working. The lights wasn't working. I use my flashlight again. You know how when you step, when you get out the shower and you step on the mat things, the mat, they like, I don't know what's called, it's a shower mat or something. They had a Confederate flag mat, a shower mat. I don't know how they make them, but they had one. So I'm like, if I seen if I seen a picture, and if I seen this, this might be true. They gave me the look. They ain't cooked right. I seen it on the picture, and now I'm seeing them on the shower mat. It's obviously they racist or something. So I text my mama. Ask my mama, can she pick me up right now? They asked me, how was I doing? They was like, yeah, Jaden, how you doing in there? I ain't say nothing. I ain't say nothing. I text my mama. She need to come pick me up right now. I ain't tell her what happened. I'm ready to go. I met her parents. I'm done with dinner. Can you pick me up? She said, okay. I'm on my way. I'm coming. I'm coming to get you. I stepped out the bathroom. I went straight to the dining room. They are looking at me again with that death look. Again. Again. Even my girlfriend looked at me. That, 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 that was the first time she ever looked at me with a death look, bro. The death look. So I was about to say, you know what I'm saying? I'm saying, my mom, you know what I'm saying? Gotta pick me up. I gotta look at the time. I gotta get out of here. How about the dad get up from his seat? He get up from his seat like these, bro. He get up from the seat like these, bro. I'm standing up. He said, Jaden, well, he, he, he ain't, you know, like, that, like that, he, you know what I'm saying, Jaden? Why don't you just stay for dessert, man? I'm saying, like, like, you know, he, he was like this, he was like this, cause he was sitting over there, he was like this, you know what I'm saying? I don't want to stay for no dessert, man. You know, I, I don't, don't want to stay for no dessert. Like, he was at this. I was like, sir, I, I, I really don't want to stay here for no dessert. Hey, I messed up the camera and stuff. Dang. All right. So, I told him that I didn't want no dessert. My mom is already coming to pick me up. I ain't want no dessert. So, the mom asks, "Can you just stay? You know, just stay for like five minutes for for some dessert." I was like, no, I gotta get out of here. I really don't. I really don't know what's going on. I don't know about y'all, but I'm gonna get out real quick. You know what I'm saying? And I ain't never coming back here. Say that the brother, her brother, get up. Now this dude, he's a football player. He's a football player. They told me that he played football for some high school. From some high school, I don't know what high school, bro. I I don't remember what high school. This was a long time ago. Excuse me. So this dude, <coughs> I'm sorry, man. I'm, I think I might be sick or something. So this dude, you know, this dude, this dude, big, you know, he he big. I'm like a jit. I'm a jit. And um, in ninth grade, I'm 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 I'm, I'm small. I wasn't like this. I wasn't like you tall as I am. I don't. I didn't have a size four, fourteen shoe. I didn't have a tall wingspan. I didn't have long legs. I wasn't 6'4 when I was 
a freshman. Listen, when I tell you that this dude was big, this dude was big, bro. So as I was walking to the door, talk about, t t tell me how this dude, did, he, 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 go, he gonna walk to, to the front of the door. I stuttered on purpose. He gonna come to the, he, he, he gonna come to the door. Do go come to the door. He gonna block the door, so I won't get out. He gonna block the door, so I won't get out of the house. My girlfriend was right behind me. When I was in, you know, when he was in, you know, when he was in front of me. When he was in front of me, my girlfriend was behind me. So, this man got his hand like this. His fist is balled up. My girlfriend had a bat in her hand. They said, Jaden, please stay for some dessert. I was like, what? Real, real talk. If you if you think I'm lying, you can dislike this video. I really don't care. I want to tell the truth how I want to be it's like said. This is the truth. If you don't think if you don't think I'm telling the truth, you can leave the video right now. Really don't care. Dislike it. I don't really care. But for, for all those that want to stay here and listen and think it's true, give this a like. Because this, 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 this is going to be a good part right here. This, this is going to be a good part. Sad part too. So she got a bat in her hand. The dude got his fist like this. Fist like this. Right here. Like he want to hit me or something. What did I even do? I know what I am. But what did I do? Y'all set me up. They set me up to go into that house. bro. They said, Jaden. Please stay here for some dessert. I was like, no, I got to leave. I got to get out of here. My mom is on her way. And then I looked at it. Oh, my mom is right here. I got to go. So the dude going to come up like this. He going to step in front of me. Push me down, bro. This dude going to this dude gonna push me down to the ground, bro. You, bro, the white people... I don't know, I don't know why, but this white person pushed me down, bro. This white pusher, let me tell you, I was small when I was a freshman. Like I said, I'm not 6'4". I wasn't 6'4 when I was in a freshman. I didn't have a size 14 shoe. I didn't have a long wingspan. This dude pushed me down. This white dude pushed me down, you know what I'm saying? He pushed me down to the flow. It broke loose, bro. You know, like, I was thinking to myself, what should I do to this dude? My girl already got a bat in her hand waiting on hit me. What, what am I supposed to do in that house, man? I'm the only black person there. They was about to kill me, bro. Kill me, bro. 
So I'm 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 looking. I'm looking at him and I'm looking at her. My mom texts me saying that I need to come on. You know, dinner is ready. She need to like I need to come on so she can, you know, we can go back to the house, right? So um I want to hit this dude, but I can't though, cause I was small. I don't know what they would do to me, cause I'm so I wasn't you know tall as I as I was you know in ninth grade. So, you know what I did? I grabbed the bat, right? I took it out of her hand. I ain't hit her with. I ain't hit her with the bat. So I got up, you know, brushed the dirt off my shoulder, clothes and everything like that. I looked at her, I looked at him, I looked at her again, I seen that bat, grabbed the bat, I hit them, I hit him, bruh, I hit him with the bat so hard, bruh, I grabbed my phone, I left, I ran, I, I unlocked the door so quick, bruh, I unlocked, the, the girl couldn't even catch up with me, I pushed her to the ground, then, you know, the parents were just looking at me. They they like they trying to run at me so they can get me and grab me. And I'm yelling, Mama, 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 can you help me? Can you help me? And, you know, she got out the car. And then I guess the white people, the white parents, you know, just, just went off. You know, they went back. They let go of me. I took my phone, grabbed my phone out my hand. We left as fast as we could. My mama called the police on them. They did get arrested. And, um, that's why I would never date white girls again. Because I don't know what I can get myself into if I date another white girl. I don't know if that's going to be the same situation. It was really, it was really hard for filming this video. I tried to do this video yesterday. I couldn't even do it. To this day, it still haunts me, bro. To this day, it still, it still haunts me to this day. <sighs> and you know, you might be thinking, Jaden, you kiss so many white girls in that kiss or grab video. What happened? I thought you won't date white girls. I said I won't date a white girl, but I ain't never said I can't, you know, kiss and like, you know, smash and everything like that. After that experience, what I had, I vowed never to date a white girl again. Y'all look at my YouTube videos. Y'all seen the girls that I've been putting in my videos. What were they? They were black. So guys, if you thought this was, you know, a very interesting story on why I don't date white girls, a story time on why I don't date white girls, my last white girlfriend, Leave a like. Um, if you thought I was lying in this video, you could dislike this video. I don't really care. Like I said, I didn't edit this video. I'm not going to edit. I'm not going to edit this video. So if you're new to the channel, make sure you guys subscribe. Like. Comment on what you think. I'm on, man. Peace.